Pet Shoppers, and what's up? It's Pet Shop Girl 78 here, and welcome to another review. So, for today's review, I'm going to be reviewing the episode called Two Peas in a Podcast. So, yeah, so that's the episode that I'm going to be reviewing for today. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, so. Without further ado, let me just get right into the plot of this episode. And before I do, I have Caesar with me, so you can introduce yourself, Caesar. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to read the plot of the episode, so yeah. So the plot of this episode is the pet the pets are horrified when when they believe Penny Ling will be moving away. Despite trying to tell them a crucinating detail about it. Elsewhere, after watching Blight's success in vlogcasting, the Biscuits try to create one of their own, but eventually get desperate. So, yeah, guys, so that was the plot of the episode. So, yeah, so now I'm going to be moving into my positives that I have for this episode. So, yeah, so the first positive I have is... Blight's vlogcast, and I think she does it really good. So, yeah. So, the second positive I have is the Biscuit Twins' only real viewer, which was their dad. And I thought that was, like, pretty sad because no one else really liked them. <laughs> so, yeah. And so, the third positive I have is the pets playing the pine cone game and... I thought that was pretty funny, so yeah. And the fourth positive I have is B- Brittany pretending to be Blythe. And this part, it was like really funny because no one believed that was the real Blythe. Because, you know, she, she just looked so weird and she talked weird and no one believed that that was her. So, yeah, it was just really funny. So, yeah. And so, the fifth positive I have, which is my last positive, is in the end of the episode, the the twins don't get to do vlogcasts anymore. And I, I thought that was good because I thought their vlogcast got kind of annoying with, like, the fake blight and all that. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty annoying. So, yeah. So yeah, so that was all my positives that I have for the episode, and for negatives, I do not have any negatives for this episode, so yeah, and now I'm going to get my overall for this episode, so overall, I give this episode a 10 out of 10, and overall, um, this episode, it was really good, the pets were all great as always, and Blythe was too, and so were the twins, Penny Ling got the attention she wanted, and we got some great moments and some funny moments, too. So, yeah, guys, so that was um, all my positives and negatives, and, um, yeah, my overall for the episode. So, that was my review of the episode called Two Peas in a Podcast. So, yeah. So, yeah, so... Um, that was my review of it. I know this was a pretty short review, but I didn't really have much to say about this, about this episode, but I, I really liked it. You know, I would watch it again. So, yeah. So, yeah, so now I am going, well, now, um, the next episode I'm going to be reviewing on Friday since I have no school, so I could do episode reviews on Friday. And, yeah, so, next episode I'm going to be reviewing on Friday is called Go Figure. So, yeah, so that's the episode that I'm going to be reviewing on Friday. I'm going to review the episode, so, yeah. So, yeah, guys, so, um, that was my review of Two Peas on a Podcast, and I really enjoyed the episode. So, yeah, so, yeah, guys, so, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so this is Pet Shop Girl 78 setting out. So yeah, so bye guys. 
And the Caesar oh, say bye. <laughs> what? What? Um, I, I, I'm done with my review. I said I already said the next episode I'm going to review on Friday. It's called oh. Go. It's called Go Figure. Wait, 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 wait. Go what? Go Figure. Are they doing a machine dash again? Are they doing a what? Um, no, I think it's the episode where, where Sunil, the mongoose, and then, and then Gecko, and basically they're super, they're superheroes, and then, well, they're dressed as superheroes, and then they want to go to a convention to get this rare figure, you know, like, toy. Of a of some uh, like their favorite superhero. Wait, favorite what? Their favorite superhero. They want to go to a convention to, you know, get it. And basically, and people are superhero? like bidding. They're bidding money on it, but they want to steal it. Wow. Yep. I wonder what's gonna happen if I was a superhero there. Well, I would like you. I would like you. I would like you. And will you want me to have you in my bed? Yes. Okay, sure. But can, do you think you could review that? What the heck? Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but do you think you could review that episode with me? Well, well, sure. But I had a feeling I should make a post about the Christmas special, and I had a feeling I should find a picture of the mistletoe to give kisses every single girl that needs one. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and get ready for Friday when me and C's are going to do the review together of the episode called Go Figure. So, yeah, so this is Pet Shop Girl 78, and... And... Bye. No, and hey, your man. name. Bye, and your I name. The up in the your name. Your name! I'm here, old man. And let's blast up to the normal course. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.